Hi, this is Greg with a quick uh, support video update. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking about this problem where uh, I'm just going to zoom into the screen here and you can see it. Uh, sometimes on Apple computers, you'll get a message, Safari wants to use the login keychain, and then you have to type a password. And you have to keep doing this over and over, and it's kind of a nuisance. Um, just, you know, in here I'm clicking cancel, and it's popping up again. So let me show you a quick way to get rid of this. I'm going to quit out of Safari for now. And we're going to go to the primary hard drive for the computer. Um, this computer here has four hard drives, but yours might just have one. And you're going to go to Applications, and then scroll down, um, or however it's listed, you know, alphabetically. You want to go into the Utilities folder. And in the Utilities folder, you'll find something that's called Keychain Access. So here I am clicking on Keychain Access. And now you'll start to see... Uh, some interesting options here under the file menu for keychain access. Uh, there used to be a feature here that was called, you know, keychain repair. Um, and now I don't see that here. Oh, here's keychain first aid, yes, under the keychain access menu. So there's obviously some awareness on the part of Apple that yes, there can be problems with these little keychains, and um, I'm not going to, let's see, I'm just going to keep away from there. Anyway, so I'm going to do a repair here. Um, and it says repair completed. So um, anyway, what we want to do here in this case is we're going to go to File and we're going to go to Delete Keychain Login. Okay, and now it says, do you want to delete references? Do you want to cancel? I'm going to say Delete References and Files. There we go. And now I'm going to quit out of this Keychain Access, close out of the Utilities window. I'll go back down here to Safari. Okay, and now we're going to get a message that says a keychain cannot be found to store Safari, and I'm going to say reset to defaults. Are you sure you want to reset your keychain environment to the default? So I'm going to click yes, and then I'm going to have the user type in their password here really quick. And this is their uh, you know password that they use to authenticate to log into the computer. So if you're you know at, at a university, you'd use your university password. Anyway, and so now. Let's quit out of Safari, and let's check and see if the problem's resolved. I'm going to go back into Safari again down here. And now Safari comes up, and it doesn't ask for the keychain. So anyway, a quick review. If this happens to you, what you want to do is um, go to the hard drive, uh, applications, utilities, keychain access, go in there and choose to delete keychain login from the file menu, um, and delete all the files, and go back into Safari and say reset to defaults, and just to test it out, exit Safari, go back in, and you should have then um, eliminated the problem of the computer persistently asking for these keychain logins. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email. Thanks. Bye.